Hey oh, hey oh, what's going on everybody? Good afternoon. We're back live. Live live. Large and in charge is what they used to say back in the day, Bill. That's what the kids used to say. Mm. They were large and they were in charge. Okay. I don't know. I don't know if they still say that or not. I'm gonna bring that back. Of course, most of the time I'm neither, so whatever. Hey, uh, my name is Alan Cox. Thank you for showing up. Greetings and all that. Say hi to Bill Squire, who's right over there. Hey, creepy hugs, everyone. Thanks for listening to and watching this episode of The Alan Cox Show. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share a cold one with the boys. And we've changed things up a little bit with the live stream. To access the live stream, you now have to go to alancockshow.com. I thought that's how we were doing it the whole time. Well, it, it was always accessible there, but you could get, you'd get like a notification from YouTube. But we're trying to get more traffic to yeah. our website, so... Uh, AlanCockShow.com. You of can course. get the live stream there. Why am I going to send people to YouTube? Right. Oh, I care. Uh, Mary Santora is out today. She's wrapping up her latest road trip. I think she's back tomorrow. Yeah, she's For a couple be. of days. Yeah. Uh, pound cake's back behind the glass. Afternoon, white people. <clears throat> I'm not 100%, but I'm, I'm enough where I can come in and um, uh, do this. I have a bright light in my face. I'm... Is it that? It's that. Oh, I'm sorry. That's my. F I, I had to replace the bulb. It burned out. I know. I and saw it's a you. different. Yeah. Okay. I'll I'll flitz you with look it. You look great the on the camera, though. Who me? It's lit. It lit you really well. <laughs> well, now you have a decision to make because yeah. I turned it because it was right in my face, but I don't want to blind you either. I don't, I don't necessarily have to have it like turned. I just would like it dimmed a bit if that's turned? possible. Well, I did. I, it's already dimmed. Oh crap! Well, <laughs> I'll turn it in the break. I'll okay. turn it the other no, way. No, no, yeah. No. I just didn't want to be. Blind and uh, whatever I am. And dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be blind and dumb. Right. I um, I had to take a sick day yesterday. I was really playing it by ear. Um, I pulled the Irish goodbye on the bar crawl <laughs> Friday night. <laughs> yeah, uh, I my apologies. That was well, I was. Um, you were, you were hanging really, on by a thread, man. I thought I was really going to rally through. I, I got a lot of positive email from people. Uh, over Friday's impromptu sum of show, because we were still here, I was just coughing myself raw and could talk, so we played some segments, but we would do live intros to the <laughs> segments, so it was very strange. And then we had the bar crawl on Friday night in Lakewood, and I made it about halfway through, about 9.45. Um, I thought I would power through. That's not halfway through. That's most of the way through. We only had one more bar after that. Well, but a five-hour bar crawl, time-wise, I felt like that was maybe halfway through. Okay. Um, but anyway, so I, I, I got there, and I I, uh, I had to walk. Uh, because it's it started to feel like every direction I went, I was either in someone's way or <clears throat> it was just strange. A guy comes up to me telling me a story about how he sold me the wrong spark plugs 10 years ago. I'm like, I, I got to get out of here. I, I got to get out of here. I don't. He was Wait, like mad the, I didn't remember. That's and an I, incredible story. I, I know. I'm you like, wanted to leave during that? Well, not during. I let him finish it. It was a very brief story. Yeah. but And I was like, oh, okay. Well, yeah. And he was mad you didn't remember. Well, I, he seemed that weird well. that he goes, I know you talk to a lot of people. I go, yeah, I, I got to tell you, bro. I do not remember that at all. And you're all medicined up. And the, Yeah, I was. But I thought maybe I would power through. Uh, doing the old beer shot, beer shot thing, um, but uh, that did not happen. So I ended up walking. I and I, I went outside one time to like I go. Oh, I'll just get some fresh air. I go outside and pound cakes like with some friends, but they're all out there smoking, and I walk into this cloud Ugh. of cigarettes. Like mm -hmm. I, I, I got to get out of here. I got you know. So I walked. So anyway, if you if you joined us for the bar crawl on Friday night, it was fun. Thank you for coming out. Those are always good. Did you what, what did I miss? W were there any fisticuffs? Uh, uh, no fisticuffs. Did pound uh, I know at I, one I was wearing an infinity scarf at one point. Uh, that was my What friend. is an infinity what is an infinity scarf? It's one of those scarves that's like big and it's like a just a giant circle and I posted oh, a picture of it. Oh, and then you folded it. Yeah, okay. Yeah. That's a girly scarf though. It was very girly. Yes, yeah, but right. it was, you know, I was drunk and having fun. Oh, I see. Yeah. I understand. Okay. Yeah. Well, at one point the guy cuz I always talk about when we go to around the corner, I was get excited for the crab races. And the guy who runs those, or used to run them, I guess, hit me up at the first bar. And he goes, hey, the, go talk to the guy who's doing them tonight. And I'm sure he'd love to have you on the mic doing those. I go, he should talk to Pound Cake. I go, Pound Cake would love to. I've done it a couple times, you know. You're narrating a crab race. I mean, it's silly, <laughs> but it's fun, you know. I don't know if he ended up talking to you or not. but oh, uh, He did end up talking to me. And I told him, I said, I would love to do that if I'm sober enough. And then. Oh, yeah, I, you probably I, weren't. I Well, I think I may have been fine, but. I completely forgot. <laughs> I completely forgot to ask. He told me the guy, he, he told me his age, height, and, and ethnicity. I'm like, okay, 
That's fine. I'll find it when I get there. Age, height, and ethnicity. Yeah. If you forget all that, he'll be the guy running the crab yeah. race. Mm-hmm. And then I got there, and I completely forgot about it. And then when I did, as I was po- calling my Uber to leave, I'm like, oh, well, there's so many people there. It's too late now, so I got to go. How long did you guys hang out? Did you make it until question mark? Oh, I did. I did. I, I, <laughs> did I think you? I because did. Because I don't know what time I left. Oh, did you guys get blotto? I, oh, I was. Yeah. Were you really? Yeah, I was pretty I, I didn't was pretty even gone. see you when, when yeah. I left. I don't know what time you left at, but well, I left because I had that scarf and my friend lived right by, so I went and gave it to her because I needed to walk it off for Wait, a Wait, she bit gave too. you the scarf and then w- left? Yeah, she okay. ghosted. Okay. Because she lived right around the corner from around the corner. Gotcha. Was that your sister's friend? Yeah. She, wa- she was a character. She's wild. <laughs> She's <laughs> nuts. Uh, so I was like, you know what? I'm going to go give her this, walk it off, see, kind of gauge where I'm at during that walk. And then I got back there and uh, was then scooped up by someone else and headed home. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I can always tell when I'm drunk by, like, me walking on the sidewalk. And if I trip over, like, a crack, <laughs> I was like, okay, it's time for me to Trip over home. a crack? Yeah, I, I trip over a crack. That's when you're, it gets that bad before you realize you're drunk? Yes. Wow. I trip over a crack. So you have, like, no drunk radar at all until you're tripping over tiny sidewalk cracks. Because I feel like I'm so used to, like, holding in my drunkenness because I'm always, the drunkest I ever get is at, like, these bar crawls. I don't get that drunk in my everyday life. Mm-hmm. And I have an excuse to You save to drink. it for the bar mm-hmm. crawls. Yeah, I get. Mm-hmm. I have an excuse to get drunk. And then after a point, I'm like, oh, my gosh, I, I taste nothing but tequila in my mouth. And then, like, I'm walking out of rooms and pushing people aside and laughing very loudly. I'm like, okay, it's time for me to go. Wow, all right. Well, as long as everybody had a good time. Mark Nolan came out, brought yeah. some of his squad. Gab was there. Gab was, was there for a bit, yeah, there. from the Indians. Yeah. yeah. I think she might have lasted not longer than all of us. Oh, she, really? I think she was still there when I left. Yeah. Okay, well, there you go. <laughs> she was pissed at me because I was like, I got, a, I got a White Claw, a pineapple White Claw. She said, they serve pineapple White Claw. And that made her mad? Because they, there is no pineapple white claw, so she went up there and asked for one. Oh, <laughs> She's well, like, "There's no pineapple white claw." I was like, "Oh, I'm sorry, I'm drunk." Well, I was trying to, I was trying to do that, you know, because everybody was like, "Oh, pineapple juice is really good for your throat." Blah yeah. blah blah. So I was drinking like whiskey and pineapple juice, which I was saw pretty that. delicious. I saw but I, that. I ended up just like I kept bugging them to top <laughs> off my pineapple juice, like I was a uh, you know a sorority sister or something. But I'm like, I'm, I'm not going hard tonight, and I really did think that I was gonna. Uh, hang for Make the whole thing, yeah. But I had to drive to Chicago the next morning, and I'm like, I gotta be smart about this, you know, because it's gonna be just me and my toddler driving home to Chicago for the weekend. Did it all work out? It was not without its minor crises. Yes, I can tell okay. you those after the break. If you'd like to hear the story, oh, I would oh, love I'm it. Very interesting. I have a couple of stories. Yeah. Yes, but uh, for people who uh, don't care about uh, toddler uh, stories. Uh, anyway, I, I, let me break here. Uh, Bloodview Haunted House. We're getting ever closer to uh, Halloween, and so a lot of haunted houses. They are in Broadview Heights. They've been doing it for almost 40 years. So if you're familiar with Bloodview Haunted House, or if you want to check it out for the first time, I have a couple of passes for you after the break. Uh, also, a chance for you to win $1,000. We are back doing Go Fund Yourself. A lot of money to give away over the next few weeks. You have a chance to win at 30 past every hour on the show today. So that's a lot of money. So you got a next uh, shot at that around 2.30. Hey, everybody. Welcome to 